this proof summation e i is zero and hence e bar is zero. Whenever you need to prove that the the sum of the error term is zero at any point of time beta in multiple proofs, I need you to remember the two normal equations that that we will be continuously using, huh? So the first normal equation that we have that is summation y is equal to n b one plus b2 summation x. This was the first normal equation we had written. And the second normal equation is summation xy is equal to b1 summation x plus b2 summation xi square. These two are the normal equation. Many times I will be using these two normal equation to prove anything. Huh? Now try to see this thing. So summation ei can be summation, error can be actual value of y minus the predicted value of y. So summation yi minus b1 minus b2 xi because we know that yi hat is nothing but b1 plus b2 xi. So we can go ahead and we can write it like that. Now if I were to go ahead and I were to uh, just open this up. I will go ahead and I will get this as summation yi minus summation b1 minus b2 summation xi. This will be summation yi minus nb1 minus b2 summation xi. Now just refer to the first normal equation. So if I just rewrite the first normal equation that I have written here, but these two normal equations we achieved by minimizing the OLS, uh, by minimizing the sum of the square of the error terms. Right? So from this normal equation, we know that summation y minus n b1 minus b2 summation xi will be 0. And therefore, therefore, if I just look back here, because this is just this thing only and this is equating to 0. So I can just go ahead and say that this will be equal to 0. So the sum of the error terms will be 0. And if the sum of the error term is 0, so E bar, which is nothing but the mean of the error term, which is summation E by N, will be 0 by N and therefore 0. So we can go ahead and say that the sum of the error terms will also be 0. Am I clear? Okay. Better. 